Hi guys, Star Lord is here. I am doing a special segment by request. I have been asked uh, several times by people um, through email and various uh, sources uh, to do a video on how to start a YouTube channel. Just the basics. Um, there's a lot of people out there who don't even know where to begin or how to start. So this is a segment dedicated specially for that. Now, um, this is going to be quite basic for a lot of you already know how to do this, but for the ones who don't, to start up a channel, now this is for tarot readers, spiritualists, astrologers, or anyone who wants to put their videos out there for the public. And um, I put together some notes here uh, just to deal with the basics. And okay, so to start, first of all, you will need a, a smartphone or a tablet or something that you can record on. Now, um, most in most cases, most YouTubers will use just their smartphone, which is an Android or a tablet or a um, iPhone or tablet. Again, it's anything like that. You can definitely use your uh, computer cam in order to make uh, and film the, uh, the video. However, um, too many people try to think that you know you have to know exactly what you're doing and be tech savvy and so forth in order to start a channel you actually don't you have to have some really good friends or family members or people who can assist you with some of the things let me tell you youtube is pretty good at walking you through when you open a channel for most of you you already have a channel but i would recommend that you open up a new channel that is uh, aside from your personal account because you can have several accounts on YouTube if you open up a personal one well you have a personal one but now you want to open up a professional one that you're going to be doing your YouTube videos on um, the, once you go into the YouTube app it will ask you if you want to sign in from another account well then you can set up it will give you the option to set up a new account so then you put in your channel's name uh, make it original don't you know, uh, make it original to you. Uh, you cannot use anyone else's name, obviously. Um, so that's your basic, that's how you will start. In terms of whatever it is you're doing, whether it's astrology, whether it's um, tarot reading or any other type of video, you will first need to hone your craft. And in that respect, I mean, really learn what you're doing. If you're a tarot reader, um, if you have some experience already, that's great, that's terrific. But if you don't, I suggest that you learn as much as you possibly can. Even for tarot readers who've been around for a long time, there's always new information out there. There's new ways to interpret the same cards. Um, it's good to know every, you know, as much as you possibly can hold in your information bank in terms of, of that particular situation if you're a tarot reader. So do your studies, uh, check as much as you can, watch other tarot readers out there, get some ideas. You'll also need to know what type of tarot reading you want to do. Uh, there's many different types out there. You could be looking at um, doing monthlies or you could be looking at doing dailies or weeklies there's it's completely up to you how you want to put your channel together that's the cool part the creative process is all you so you get to have complete comp creative control when you're doing your own video I would suggest first that you make a video, maybe put it out there private because there's a private setting where you can view it back as though you were a viewer and see what it is, but nobody else can see the video, just to get an idea of what the viewers out there will be seeing. So once you're, you feel comfortable, do a couple of tries and once you feel comfortable then I would suggest you put it out there and just uh, close your eyes and hope for the best because you never know when it comes to YouTube there's always always a chance that there's going to be viewers who are absolutely going to love what you do even though you may feel a little bit insecure about it let the world at large be the judge okay <laughs> that's my suggestion 
In terms of what you're recording on, like I said before, the um, most smartphones and tablets will do the trick. As long as you have enough storage so that the, you can make your videos for however long you're going to make them. Um, in terms of sound, you can add an external mic, something like this that plugs directly into your phone or tablet. Uh, for others of you, um, you can also do it if you're doing it on the computer with a cam. You can use um, this mic or any mic really as well. This is not, you know, the greatest quality mic, but whatever works in the meantime, uh, eventually as your channel grows and you get more and more um, income for the situation, it can allow you to be able to buy better lighting, better equipment, better phone, camera, whatever the case may be. But in the beginning, don't let that stop you. You have to be able to feel confident and put it out there because like I said, most of the videos, as long as you uh, make sure that your area is lighted correctly so that people can see you and see um, what it is you're doing. You have the option as a tarot reader too to just do the hands where the camera is focused directly on the hands if you don't want to be seen on camera. If you do, then you can do it the way that I do it where you know I hold up the cards. Again, it's the, the whole process is controlled by you. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. In terms of, um, let's see what else. Oh, in terms of picking a channel name, just make it original, like I said, to you, something that it's uh, that that feels right to you, and uh, just check it out there, Google it, make sure nobody else has the name, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, in terms of setting up your account, there is also one other thing, like I said, YouTube is really good at walking you through the basic stuff about setting up your channel. There is going to be an about section and I'll show you this is mine on my channel, this about section. And in the about section, it's going to require you to say a little bit something about yourself. So that's great. You can put in um, your experience, uh, what you have to offer on your channel, so forth. Plus also put in all of your other social media. If you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that stuff, put it on there in terms of uh, donation button. I also recommend that because a lot of people will donate to your channel. And also too, if you're doing readings or offering anything special, you can also use the donate button which goes directly to your PayPal account. You again might need the assistance of someone else to help you set up the donation button or um, the PayPal account. So there's that for your basics. Now I also want to recommend some channels for you to watch prior to setting up your channel because they'll give you a lot more information as well. Terrific, highly recommended channels. One is uh, Roberto Blake. He has the most amazing stuff on his uh, YouTube channel. I will be putting the names of these people in the description box below. So I've got uh, Roberto Blake, Daryl Eves is another one that talks all about what to do and what not to do on your uh, YouTube channel in terms of setting it up. We also have uh, video influencers. They are great, lots of information on their channel as well as video creators. And TubeBuddy, uh, which I also use on my channel when um, to help make thumbnails and things like that. You can also um, upload that for free. Uh, once you get your channel up and running, the TubeBuddy, you, they have a, a free version of it, which you can use for basic stuff to help you make your thumbnails and so forth. Again, it's very easy to use and um, it helps you, it walks you through things. So not complicated really, but um, it's just some steps and some tips from me, Star Lordis, uh, by request. And uh, this is part one. I will be doing part two. I'm going to be putting that out and that's going to be dealing more with the psychological aspect of having a YouTube channel, what to expect and um, how to kind of uh, deal with the, the 
when you put yourself out there and you are a public image now, you are subject to some scrutiny and so forth. So it's just a little bit of tips on how to deal with that kind of thing. I will be back with uh, part two shortly. So I hope that this helps you get started and the sooner the better. So good luck with your uh, new YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future. Okay, take care. Star Lord is signing off. Bye-bye for now.